Okay, you guys, well, uh, um, what happened was I had my settings on low resolution. So I was trying some streaming stuff, and uh, I accidentally recorded most of my reference here on low, low resolution. So it's going to be a little bit blurry. I apologize. Um, but uh, this is what we're after. We're going to be showing you how to take block in and take it to a finish. So enjoy the video, hang with it, and good luck. Okay, you guys, um, I'm just going to do the block out of this piece, uh, the assignment that you've already had to just block it into lights and darks uh, with about 50% dark, 50% light. Okay, so grab my tools and here we go. Okay, so as we look at these shadow edges, you need to notice, is it a sharp edge or is it a big soft edge? Okay, and there's gonna be a whole combination of them. But let's go after those sharp edges first and get those uh, figured out here. Sometimes they have the faster transition to visually. Okay, so. I'm gonna make that pretty sharp right there. That's a cast shadow and it's pretty sharp. Down here, it's not crazy sharp, but it's gonna feel a little sharper on this cast shadow edge. And over here where it's close also. Okay. Um, anyway, we're going to go all around and uh, tidy up all the edges. Let's look at a really soft edge first, though. Okay, it comes around pretty. There's part of this that's still fairly sharp right along in here. Okay, it kind of has two shadows going here, and then it eases up. Let's see, that goes all the way down. So. Um, and that's a nice strong shadow. This is where you can start to break, I shouldn't say break, but to delineate, break apart the shadow and delineate darker areas and lighter areas, okay? Continue kind of pushing in there. Now this edge here, kind of, like I say, kind of has a double shadow. So it has a pretty good sharp edge. It has this little bit of shadow that sneaks out here. So we're just going to literally draw it as a double 
little double shadow. Um, but then when it approaches down here, it begins to roll down the base and get quite soft. Okay, so I'm going to leave a much softer edge right there. Okay, still hold some dark. The dark is see. And what I'm doing all the time is blurring my eyes, right? I look at the picture, I look at the reference, and blur my eyes, and see where those dark patterns stay darkest. Okay, so <clears throat> for this part of the video, you're just going to be watching it in fast speed. And uh, what I'm doing, of course, is going across and finding, I'm looking at edges and tones. Um, the one thing I want to make sure not to do is try to create a line. You don't want to create lines. So anything that's small like that that you see me doing um, is not meant to be a line. That's just a very small tone. Um, you really want to make sure when you're done with this that your lines have disappeared and that everything's just built with shading and with light and dark tones. So here, of course, I'm going in and finding a lot of different uh, levels of value, a lot of different lights and darks. Um, but what's nice is you have that base already, you had those lights and darks you already broke out, and uh, you can kind of refer back to that as you go. And what's nice too is you already have everything structured, so you don't have to uh, build anything. But as you go, always check your accuracy, always whenever you refine something, measure it again make it better every time okay don't build mistakes upon initial structure but rather take initial structure and improve it every time you go around a spot on the piece oh also look for contrast look for, for where there's big jumps in light and dark make those very clear where there's no division between light and dark it's dark flowing into dark or light flowing into light to make sure you're leaving that also. Uh, let it flow one into another. Okay, and uh, always squint, look at what you're doing. Um, squint at the reference, squint at what you're doing. Uh, blur your eyes or whatever you wanna call it and make sure you're getting the same patterns and the same type of tones going on in the piece. Um, when you have the big things built, it's always easier to go in and make things, make, find the small things. Okay, right here, I'm actually looking to make that little edge disappear light into light. So I don't want that to read too loudly. I just want it to be tone on the tone. And it's okay if you lose that edge a little bit. In fact, lost edge is a beautiful thing to have in the end of a piece. So um, now I'm going in looking for and I just don't like the word details, but I'm looking for distinct lights and darks, things that are uh, a higher contrast or a more sudden contrast or a very small contrast, uh, meaning a small piece against something else. And so you just go around, look for things that look lost and look for things that need to be brought out or look for things that are too loud. Right? Look for things that you've done too distinctly and push them down, um, make them go more subtle. Also, again, looking at contrast, balancing uh, lights and darks. Here around the handle, I'm choosing to push that background darker and darker because the handle itself is pretty dark. And so I'm choosing to push that down a bit and match that out like that. <clears throat> okay, so pretty much getting finished up here and uh, getting a lot of the detail done. So you just wanna look around, refine things, blur down on your, again, on your reference, blur down on your piece and make sure it's working for you. Okay, so just keep working at it. You can do as much finish as you want, um, but once it just appears and feels right and has good tones, then, then you can leave it at that. Okay, if you look at it far away, then you can feel kind of the bigger patterns. You can see things maybe you didn't see when you're looking at it close and see if it looks real to you. Um, also, you can uh, go in, well, I just wanna show you as I zoom in, just show you the marks and the tones and things that uh, sometimes they're not as finished as you might think. 
Okay, so as you saw, I started with just the general block out, lights and darks, and uh, just to get things rolling, get things associated, and build the composition. Then went into different areas and then tried to get the edges correct. And then you can start to work the smaller lights and darks until, until it comes out. So really it's just a matter of time and effort and observation as you go and you always keep measuring and doing that kind of thing. But I just want you to learn and trust this process. So anyway, you guys, hey, it's been fun. Good luck and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, we'll see you, bye-bye.